Today's review is the Marvel Legends Infinite Series of Spider-Man, the Build-A-Figure Collection Anti-Venom Action Figure. So this review will, will actually follow up with a bunch of other Marvel Legend figures uh, for this Build-A-Figure Collection. Uh, this one is Anti-Venom, so I do have the whole uh, the whole wave to build the uh, figure which is Hobgoblin so this is his leg uh, so just to flip to the back of the package those are the other figures in the line uh, or in the wave I should say so that's Hobgoblin on the left so as I progress through the next few reviews um, you know, show you piece by piece, and then eventually we're going to build Hobgoblin and do a review on him. Let's flip him back. We'll open him up, and I'll be right back. So the build a figure piece that it comes with is Hobgoblin's leg. I'm not going to get too much into detail until I finalize the figure build. Uh, so, but just to show you, this is what's included with Anti Venom. Let's put that as the side. Anti-Venom himself. Let's take a look at his articulation. His head is on a bend up and down, left and right. It doesn't look like you can fully bend to the left and, um, you know, bend to the left and right, but you could turn left and right. At the shoulder is a ball joint. At the upper arms is a swivel, double hinge elbows, bend and swivel on his hand. He does have an ab crunch. It's a bit stiff since it's right out of the package. At, there's a swivel at his waist, ball joint legs, swivel on the thigh, double hinge knee. Swivel on the leg and a ball joint foot feet. So, posability is definitely there. Um, as with other Marvel Legend figures I see in the package, um, most of them use the ba same basic um, body design in terms of articulation. So, every figure comes with a lot of articulation and posability. So let's take a look at his paint application. Let's zoom in there a little bit. So basically his body is um, the spider logo on his across his body is solid black and the rest of him is white, uh, sort of like a dirty white. And I mean that there isn't much paint application throughout his body aside from his head. Here I'll bring it up close. Um, face is all black, but he does have the orange eyes, pupils, and the orange mouth, orange yellow. Kind of looks like a fire. Very evil like. On his back, um, there's the spider logo again. Let's bring it back out. In terms of <clears throat> in terms of sculpting, um, you know, as I mentioned, it's same basic body, but the extra the additional f sculpts that you see is so this piece is a separate piece as I shown just now. Um, there's a peg. There's two peg holes on the back. One for the stand. One for the, um, you know, boiling spikes. Let's put that back. Um, across his body, arms, legs. Actually, not legs. Arms and head and the back. Uh, you see some spikes coming out of his body parts. So he's he definitely has the detailing of anti venom. Uh, it's definitely there. 
um, other parts to, that are noticeable such as his hands really large hands um, similar to Carnage Venom you know basically the Spider-Man Spider-Man enemies they have the same uh, sort of design principle overall I love this figure uh, due to its articulation and simplicity of paint application and you know its posability as well I mean it compared to other Marvel Legend figures it's slightly larger um, than you know they're, they're six inch scales but this one uh, scale to the six inch uh, if you measure him he's at least seven you know at seven or seven and a half so it's decent size if you have any comments or questions please leave below subscribe to my channel rockstick I'll have more reviews coming. Have a good day.